Hello everybody, Van Berman here and welcome to another Van Berman podcast. I'm doing another one even though I have no idea what number we're on. It's probably like 12, 13, <laughs> something like that along those lines. And um, yeah, basically, I had a uh, message from the elusive man. As you'll be aware, we occasionally do videos together sometimes. And he said he wanted me to rant about something in a podcast. Now, I'm not really generally that good at ranting. It sort of has to take... The mood has to take me a bit. And... I don't always get upset about things which are gaming. I do get upset about things which aren't gaming. Um, and this is going to be one of those. So it's not a gaming podcast. It is... It's actually about music. Now, a lot of people don't appreciate my taste in music. I grew up with very hardcore techno rave music when I was uh, very young <laughs> and I guess that I've sort of followed in that in those footsteps so when I was in my teenage years I really liked dance music dance music now is not what dance music was then um, you know we've now got the whole flow rider thinking he's a dance artist when quite clearly he's not <laughs> you know, and those sort of people, but, and then, sorry, and then I moved on to liking my dubstep, and now I like chilled out dubstep pretty much, and I'm very keen on, um, you know, some uh, singers like Imogen Heap and uh, Ellie Goulding, despite the fact that you could class them as pop, I guess, in a sense, yet, yeah, you know, I don't know, I appreciate the the vocals, but anyway, I'm going off track now. The fact of the matter is that, for example, the bands which I do like, such as um, Imogen Heap, for example, is one which, not even though she's very popular, not a lot of people know about her. Then we've also got Mount Eden, once again, they are very popular in certain circles, but they've never been in the top 40, for example. And that's the, that's the thing I wanted to gripe about, actually, is that people are far too obsessed with top 40 music. I mean... I'll be at work sometimes, and we'll be talking. People will be talking about some bands which I've never heard of, which are full of middle-aged children. Well, yeah, middle-aged people that are children, or children that think they're middle-aged. And I've never heard of these bands or these songs, and they're treating them as though they're actually worth talking about, really. And they're like, "Oh, you don't follow music?" And well, I do. I follow my own. I follow my own bands which I like, and you know, sometimes I'll go out of that and listen to other people. But it's far too easy to say that you love music when you're in the top 40. I mean, it's a terribly easy thing to follow, let's be honest. It's like following football when all you do is listen to the scores at the end. I mean, you can sit there on a Sunday and listen to the top 40 and go, Hmm, I must like this music because it's popular. You know, I must like this music because I'm, you know, I'm following all of these new bands, new and upcoming great bands, when actually... Chances are, they've probably been around for years. Not that it matters who heard them first, for example. Because, you know, people can come in later, not realise they're around, and enjoy the older stuff as well. But only sort of or going on, really going on about things when people are very popular, when they're in the top 40. I don't really... I don't, it does not give you the right to judge other people on their music when, it's, when all you do is follow the top 40. If you're going out, listening to smaller bands, I mean, I know I don't personally do it, but I know a lot of people that do go out, you know, to local clubs and and bars to listen to local bands, which is brilliant. I mean, if that's the sort of thing you like doing, then far be it from me to, um, to judge you on that. But, because it's not my room to judge, pretty much. And, yeah, I sort of lost track where I was going with that. <laughs> Basically, what I'm saying is, if you only listen to the top 40, you have no room to judge other people on their music choices. Don't get me wrong, you know, stuff like really heavy screamo and death metal and stuff like that I don't like. And they never really, or they very rarely get into the top 40, so people rarely listen to them. 
I have had a couple of friends which are into that sort of stuff, so I have heard more than maybe an average person would have heard, and it's still not for me. <laughs> but the fact of the matter is that they're you know willing to expand their horizon past a two-hour show on Radio One, and I think that's a key thing for me. Uh, if you're willing to go out and listen to broaden it a little bit, you know sometimes you don't. There's always, there's always going to be artists that you don't like in your field. I mean, there's dubstep artists which I don't like. There's so many dance artists that I don't like. Um, that's mainly because I've got more off dance, more onto sort of electro. Um, mainly because the sort of top 40 culture has got into dance, taking it over pretty much now. And, uh, you know, that's why you see all of the famous, oh, famous r and you know, getting in there and thinking they're making a dance tune when, you know, they're not really. They're using the same beat, they're using acapella, but to make it a dance tune. Sometimes they can be good to listen to, do not get me wrong. Sometimes they can make good songs, but generally, I think that needs to stay in the category of pop and dance needs to be dance music without that input from those type of people. My opinion, of course, I think I'm wrong. I probably am wrong. <laughs> the, music industry makes, the music industry makes its own rules at the end of the day, much like game companies make their own rules, and you have to either stick with it and follow it or bugger off, effectively. So yeah, that was my... I didn't really get mega upset, but it has been some of that's been really, really bugging me. Um, mainly because I have to sit there at work and listen to it sometimes. I mean, who the heck wants to listen to people talk about One Direction? Seriously? Ugh, God. And soaps. Uh, yeah, I'm not even going to get started on soaps. <laughs> oh, dear. Actually, no, we'll, we'll sum up soaps, because I don't want to do a separate episode on soaps. Basically... You know, all these, uh, what have we got, Coronation Street, EastEnders, Everdale, they attract millions of viewers, yet they're always the wrong million, in a sense. Oh, some of my friends watch it, and they're, they're nice people, but, yeah, some people watch some crap on TV. I'm not even going to lie. My girlfriend, for example, she will, she can just sit there and watch crap. I mean, what is women's, and some men's, obsession with Jeremy Kyle? Really? I mean... Goodness me. You just want to come down Huddersfield High Street on an average day and just sit <laughs> just sit on the bench and watch it unfold. You know, it's like you're in the audience. I'm not actually sure where Jeremy Carl's filmed, though. It might be in Manchester, in fact. Mm -hmm. Anyway. So, thank you very much for listening to the podcast. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I rambled on sufficiently, which I believe is the point of podcast. Sorry, it has been the point of almost all of my podcasts to date, unless I've got something really coherent to talk about, whereas this one I've been branching off into talking about genres and stuff and music and things, but yeah. Anyway, do tune in to my next videos, video, whatever it is, and um, on YouTube, obviously, although this is on YouTube, so now I'm confused. Anyway, I'm going to say goodbye now and leave it there, but thank you very much for listening, goodbye. <laughs>